Hello everyone, welcome to your favorite YouTube channel, my project ideas. Today we are going to make a project which is based on Node.js and the project is named as QR code generator. So first we'll have a requirement analysis. First we require a text editor where we are going to write our code. So here we have used VS code. Secondly, we require an operating system via which basically uh, the code runs, the environment it's set. This project is based on HTML, CSS, JavaScript and Node.js as we have already discussed. And we will be seeing certain HTML files, CSS files, JS files and the bootstrap files as well. So what we are going to do first, we are going to have a look at the code. Let's have a look at the code then. Okay, so here, here is the code. We are go gonna see each and every, like what we have in hold and we will see how does this look like. So first we have all the node modules as I have already explained you in all the previous videos that the node modules are basically of no such like you cannot modify the node modules that is ultimately made that is ultimately there you cannot do anything with the node modules cool because they are ultimately there in the system when you like uh, run npm install along with the dependencies all these things get installed then uh, let us look at the readme first so the qr code generator is basically a node.js command line tool which converts a user provided URL into a QR code image which simplifies the process of generating scannable QR codes for URLs. Got it? So first what we have to do, we have to make sure that we have Node.js installed in our system and how do you do this project? If you have already the GitHub link, you can clone it. Then you can go to the directory and then uh, npm install. Then when you go to node index.js, whatever URL you have given, that gets converted into a QR code and it is saved as your QR.png in the project directory. Then in the dependencies, we'll have this project basically relies on the following dependencies that is inquirer and QR image. Now what we are going to do, we are going to have a look at the index.js. So we have imported inquirer from inquirer imported QR from QR image and imported FS from FS. Then in the inquiry, we have a prompt. What is a prompt? Where we are going to write. Type in your URL. It says type in your URL and we are going to put our URL in that. Then whatever the QR code image we get, that get the URL gets converted to the QR image and finally how, where it is stored in the your QR.png. If there is an error, it says prompt could not be rendered in the current environment and an error occurred and that error will be shown. This is what is the basic funda. It's a very simple project. It's made so that you can understand the Node.js concepts. Now we'll go and we'll run it. Let's go to the terminal. You see just how I'm running the packages to see. Let me first write cd that is change directory. Copy this. Okay. Control C, Control V. Done. Then what you're going to do? npm install to install all the dependencies. Let's see. See, see here the, in the installation is done. Then what we are going to do? We are going to write node index.js. It will ask us something. Your URL. www. Let's say simran.com. There is a URL simran. So here you got your QR page. This is your QR code. So I hope you understood the working of this code. For more interesting project ideas, stay tuned to this channel. Thank you and have a great day.